Hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Uh, let's talk about have you ever felt ignored by a guy, okay? So real quickly before I begin, I'd love for you to post a comment on this video. And if you do, I have a special surprise for you at the end of this video. So make sure you watch all the way through. And this is for those who write a comment. Okay, have you ever felt ignored by a guy? I'm sure this has happened to you. I know it's happened to me in the dating realm. And there's nothing more emotionally What's the word I'm thinking of? Betrayed when you feel ignored. In a, in a sense, feeling ignored feels like a sense of abandonment, as a sense of like, I'm not wanted, I'm not cared for, I'm not liked. And it can certainly trigger all kinds of emotions inside of you and feelings inside of you when you feel ignored. And this can happen in the early stages of dating. So for example, maybe when you're brand new communicating with someone and you don't hear from them for a day or two, or certainly in a seasoned relationship where someone you're with goes MIA for maybe a few hours, maybe a, for an entire day, maybe for a day or two. And I want to go into the deeper reasons why this happens, but I want to set the stage first to recognize that there's this almost fantasy about how relationships should work. I mean, it's almost like a Disney movie or a, a, you know, a Hollywood movie that men are pursuers. They know what they want. They go after what they want. Everything will be magical bliss if a guy does all the work. And I, and I think many women have been conditioned that way. Certainly you've been told men are hunters, they pursue and they go after what they want. But I think we have to go backward in time to look at this whole perspective of a relationship. Because in many cases from the caveman days, we were conditioned to be provider protectors in relationships. And that was our primary role. And that certainly evolved substantially to where we're at today, where there's also a component of not just being a provider protector, if you will, but to be an emotional component in a relationship. And I think this is where a lot of men, as well as women, are struggling in the emotional sense. How can I be emotionally invested in this relationship? So when it comes to ignoring, um, what I think is most important to recognize that most likely the main reason why someone might ignore you is that they're not capable of investing in the emotional aspect of the relationship, the emotional responsibility of a relationship. And a relationship does come with it a sense of emotional responsibility that many men as well as women haven't really prepared for. In fact, most people are dating from a perspective of a transactional relationship, is you come to the table with this and I come to the table with that, and we treat it almost like a transaction. And I know that may not feel true, but there's a sense of that happening right now because both men and women, in many cases, especially at midlife, don't know what they want. Let me repeat that, they don't know what they want. And let's, let's think about 20 and 30 year olds for a moment. 20 and 30 year olds are most likely in the process of, a, of pursuing a relationship because they want to start a family, they wanna build a life with someone. And when you're a blank sheet of paper, that's relatively easy to do. So the, the impetus for pursuing a relationship is both on a practical level and an emotional level. But here's what happens at midlife. And there's a significant number of people at midlife that are divorced. They come to the table maybe with uh, some challenges in their life. In fact, many significant challenges may be, that's why we call it baggage or luggage, that comes to the table. And what happens is when someone's baggage or luggage is piled up, their capability of only handling so much in the emotional sense of a relationship causes them to sometimes pull back. And that's what being ignored is. It's pulling back a bit. And it's saying, I don't feel safe. I don't feel comfortable in this particular circumstance right now. Now, one of the reasons why this happens is, remember I said before in our 20s and 30s, we kind of have a sense of what a relationship should look like? Well, I think for many people in midlife, both men and women, they don't have a clear cut sign of what a relationship should look like. They don't know the foundational pieces of a relationship other than the transactional. I want you, you want me, and that's the transaction. 
But there's more to a relationship, there's more to partnership than just the transaction. That's one of the reasons why I highly recommend the book, Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman. Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman. Because this goes into the deeper reasons of why to be in a relationship. And it also talks about the emotional investment of intimacy because that's really what's causing someone to ignore you is they don't feel safe to be intimate and one of the benefits of reading this book is you can get a sense of is this the right partner for me based on this book and i highly encourage those that are entering into relationship to both buy the book and invest in this book. If you're about into the third month of a relationship and you're deciding you wanna pursue something, then invest in this book as an investment into the relationship and buy two copies of the, wait, two copies of the book for him and for you and say, hey, let's do this together because we're gonna co-create a relationship together. We're going to build something together because when you build something together and you create a foundation, then a person feels safe to express their feelings without having to run away. And that's what's happening when someone's ignoring you, is they're, as I said before, they're not capable of leaning into the emotional effects of a relationship. And I can tell you, a relationship comes with so much emotional responsibility, and the average person maybe can go about this far, up to their level of their no, wait, up to their level of here, let me say up to here, and oftentimes it feels like a level of the water is here. In other words, I can't breathe unless I pull away. And that's my invitation for you. Start learning about the real mechanics of what it takes to be in a healthy, happy relationship. I, if you watch my YouTube channel, I recommend all kinds of books for you to, to uh, read and start learning what it takes to be in a healthy, happy relationship. Learn good communication skills, learn about love attachment style, learn about the five love languages, just to name a few. Learn about the Imago. That's what I'm here to express to you. And if you want more advice in that area, then schedule a call with me. In fact, there's a link right here below. That's what I do is I help clients vet for the right guy. That's, that's what this is all about. So if you need that kind of help or check out my group, Midlife Love Mastery. Again, the link is right here below. Okay, you get the gist of where I'm going here. And I mentioned that if you post a comment, if this resonated with you, if there's something you wanna add, something you share, please post a comment. Because if you do, uh, one lucky person is going to be eligible a few weeks from now for a private coaching session with me. I'm going to reach out to one of those people that comment and you'll get a private coaching session with me. So post a comment below. All right. I hope you found value in this video. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Please again, post something. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button wherever it's at. I'd love to connect with you on a more regular basis and please watch my channel for more content each time. Okay, I'm gonna sign off this video as I always do, giving you a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, oh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.